everybody. This is Al from Instably 06 Revival. And in the last video, we had arguably the biggest upset of the season. We have on a roll here the last three games, beat Michigan State, then Minnesota, then heading up to the big house to defeat the Wolverines. Now we're at the last game of the season, and it's against our top rival, number eight, Purdue. They're having an amazing year. We can check out the stats real quick. They got one of the top passing offenses in the country, and so do we. Needless to say, there should be a lot of uh, passing yards today. Before we play them, let's go to recruiting. We got one prospect left, and he's visiting today, Cole Logan. Let's just look here. Uh, coaching philosophy, location, coach, prestige. Let's just do playing time. Uh, let's go to Sports Illustrated. Let's see if any changes have been made here. I'll go to the bowl rankings. I know we're outside the top 25. I bet we're, we're probably, yeah, we are 28th. We got 73 votes right there. We took Michigan out of the top 25. Let's look at the Heisman watch. We've had too many close games and low point totals in those games for McFarlane and Gilmore to come close to this list. Because you pretty much have to have every game just putting up crazy numbers. So maybe next year. Let's look at the finalists, though. The Maxwell Award, Liner, Colson, and Johnson. The Bignaric, best quarterback, McFarlane. He's in the, he made the finalists. We'll see if we can get... This is going to be tough. Matt Liner's already got 43 touchdowns. I just have 34. Vince Young with 31. And I just got one game left. I guess Liner has only one as well. I mean, he's nine touchdowns ahead of me. That's going to be tough. So he'll probably win it. But we'll see. The Walker Award. Gilmore made the final cut for the wide receiver award. 15 touchdowns, 15, 16. So that's a really tight race. I don't have the yardage like Calvin Johnson does or Jared Hicks. Tight end, offensive line, two mid, wow, Big Ten. Ohio State, Ohio State, Ohio State. And two Michigan State guys. That's incredible. And we beat them. Remington, Lombardi, linebacker, Thorpe, Groza, punter. Thick pin. He made the final cut for top returner. He only has two touchdowns. San Antonio Holmes. He has six touchdowns, but I think that's overall, you know, catching and whatnot. Not necessarily just special teams. James Johnson has a touchdown. So we'll see if Thick pin can maybe have a good game here against Purdue and maybe sneak up to number one. Coach, I wonder if I even made, and I didn't even make the final 12. Bowl projections. Let's look at this since we know we're going to a bowl. Let's see where they have us. Capital One Bowl against my beloved volunteers. I hope that happens. Big Ten number two. We need to check the conference standings because Big Ten number three is the Outback Bowl. So I, maybe at worst I'll go to the Outback. Look at that. Wisconsin four and seven. Outback Bowl. That makes no sense. We'll look at the conference standings, though. Uh, players of the week don't really matter. Okay. I think they have Ohio State moving up to, like, the national championship game, which means this is the number one Big Ten team because they are probably have a lesser schedule. They probably got beat by Ohio State, and I'm number two. If I lose, I'll be tied with Wisconsin, which means I would get the four spot, the three spot. And Wisconsin has already won, so I need to win today to avoid this tiebreaker right here. I didn't play Northwestern. Iowa beat me, so look at all these three and four teams. I'll be, look at all that. My gosh. There's like seven of them. Six of them. Five. Four and four and a bunch of three and four. So I need to win in order to avoid that big mess right here. 
So who knows where I'll go bowling if I lose. But if I win, could get interesting. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Let's take on the Boilermakers. Here before too long, I need to take some notes on my recruiting. Off season is soon approaching because I got this game, then the bowl game, and I'll be heading to the off season. Hopefully, I can pick up a really strong class. The class is perfect so far. Already got four out of the five. Maybe get the fifth one today. Battle for the old oaken bucket. And not one guy got in trouble all year. That just makes no sense. Okay, they got a wide receiver out and a corner out. I don't know if... I think they got two impact wide receivers. I don't think that kid right there is one of the two. We'll find out. They got a defense tackle, put up some good numbers, a good middle linebacker. Apparently their defense is playing pretty strong this year. We got a night game at Bloomington. I want the ball first. Wow, the wind is going strong at 15 miles an hour. Okay. Let's check out their roster. Kurt, the quarterback, impact. Can run a little bit. Kind of watch out for that. He's at 74 speed. Pretty good running backs, but I think they're going to throw all day. And here's who they're going to throw to. It's this big kid, that 6'9", 230 pounder. I remember him playing back in the day. Humong I mean, you just don't see many 6'9 guys out at wide receiver. But he's out for the season, so they got 82 and 84. I mean, they're still talented here. Tight end, really good. 91, 78, 84, 80. Defensive ends, 80 and 93. 89, 91. So their front four is solid. 88, 84, 82, not bad for the linebackers. 82, 82, and 78, 68. So here's kind of their weakness, I guess. Corners, not much at free safety. Really good strong safety. So their weakness seems to be their corners and their free safety. Got pretty good kickers. All right, maybe try to spread them out. Maybe go after that free safety a little bit more than usual. And otherwise, we'll just run our... Normal offense and try to pull off the upset. Number two, fields at the goal line. Not much there from Thick Pin. Let's start out with a PA read. Set up They're going the zone. I'm just going to dump this to Washington. I was feeling the heat there. Good play by Washington. Good juke on my part. Now, I want to run a play. I haven't ran hardly any this year. It's on my mind. Let me go here. Here, and it's slot corner. They're going man 4-3. Now, I am going to run some clock. It's worked for me a lot this year. So, this is going to go to probably Clinchman, Gilmore, or Taylor. Going one high. Middle of the field, has just had their record and he just broke the single season record. Let's do a screen. We're going zone. Let's let this clock roll a little bit. Again, their offense is probably going to be the best offense we'll face all season. So I got to keep them off the field as much as possible. Pick up the first down. Let's do wide receiver in. We're going man, so this will go to either Clinchman or Gilmore. Hopefully those linebackers just don't sit there and wait. They probably... That's why this ain't the best play in the world because of those delayed route on the right running back. Ooh. I was fixed to get sacked. Clinchman was my only option. They went one high. So, let's go. Let's do RB deep. We're going zone, so this is going to go to Bailey. Hopefully we can pick up some yards here. Wow, that was a terrible throw. <laughs> what was that? Okay. 
Let's do tight end slot. Let's do corner strike, third and ten, going zone. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Hopefully we could probably get this to Gilmore. We're going too high. Whew, first down. Let's do another screen. We'll let that clock roll. So I've had about, what, three different people touch it so far? That's not too bad. Out of five, six plays. Just get close to the sideline, just avoid a fumble. Let's do my favorite pass play. We'll do Zig Ouch. They're going man here, going dime. So this will either go to Bailey or Gilmore. And he's doing that. So if they go one high, I'll just probably go to Bailey. And hopefully he can pick up the first down. I'm glad I got all their corners out there. That's not their strength. Yep, they're going one high. Terrible throw. That was way off. I don't know if he got hit as soon as he threw it. Let's just do halfback out. Let's see if we can pick up the, or the first down to Washington. There we go. Pick up the first. Now I'm at like the, what, 13. So let's just go to our great red zone play. And fullback seam. I love the corner route to the left. They're going zone, so this is not going to make a difference. We're going to go to Rodonovich. Clock is stopped. Just another bad throw. Man, I, I'm throwing it hard, but I'm throwing it like I normally have been. So I don't know. Let's go. Let's do halfback direct. Let's see how they handle that. They're going zone nickel, so this isn't ideal. I just got to see what this linebacker's going to do. Don't get a block here. Oh, crap. That's eh, not the worst thing to happen. Uh, third and six. I'm going to go back to halfback out. I think I could pick up the first down. This is going to go to Gilmore. I don't know. This is going to be... This is usually a five-yard play if it's against man with Gilmore. Depends on the throw. And right now, my out route throws by McFarlane aren't going too well for whatever reason. Or we could get the touchdown. That was still a bad throw, but he caught it because he's a stud. All right, so we took a lot of time off the clock, almost three minutes. We scored. Now, defense, this will be interesting. They're going to throw all over the field, so I have to think. I, I, I want to throw a lot of different zones at them, blitzes and whatnot, but it all depends if we can get to their quarterback. If he's got plenty of time to throw, he may really hurt my zone. So I'll throw some different things at him to see how he reacts to it. We're going to take a knee on that one. I'll throw some man, just anything and everything. Let's just throw a basic quarters at him for now. And they decide to run the ball first thing. That's interesting. They went under center too. Okay, let's do a one high. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 29 yard line. Purdue comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Pick up the first. So that's two straight runs. Wasn't really expecting that. Now they're going five wide. Let's throw something at him here. Let's do a dog two. First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. I'm going to be extremely vulnerable in the middle right here. Crap. That's what I was afraid of. I've never really ran that play before, but it looked interesting. So that was first to 10. Let's go. Uh, let's do quarters out of dime. Let's 
Steps up in the pocket. Short to off. Ramp. <laughs> I was right there, and he just. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was embarrassing. Let's try this again. Let's go one high at a dime. I'm okay with this alignment just because it gets my safety in the middle of the field. And my strong safety is closer to the running back. Wow. Thank the Lord he went out of bounds. Okay, let's try. Let's do a, a cover two zone blitz to monster two. Let's see if I can get to him here. Good defense by whoever that was. He got a hand on it. Let's go back to quarters out of dime. If we can somehow get them in third down, that'd be great. Then I may do like a basic band too high or something. First down. Just, he found the open spot. All right, let's go back to one high. Now you see why I want to... Fumble! Oh, now you see why I want to throw a lot of different stuff or why I'm trying to run the clock. I'm afraid this offense is going to be just a nightmare to defend. They just have a lot of talent. They shift on their defensive front. A little bit of the crowd pumping if possible. He got out of bounds, though, so it's third. Uh, I'm going to take a chance. They don't have a whole lot of room to work with, and I think they're going to throw. So I'm going to blitz him, make him throw quick. And if he scores a touchdown, so be it. Now watch him run the ball. <laughs> Ooh, he dropped it. Whew, thank the Lord he dropped it. He's fixing to get his head rolled there. Great defense. We're going to go with a safe man just in case they try to fake it. This one should be makeable. The kick is up. Miss it, miss it. All right, we'll take it. They took a lot of time off the clock, and they only got three points out of it. I am perfectly fine with that. So we're going to get the ball back and see if we can score another touchdown. Well, that's going in the end zone. Let's go. Hmm. Let's throw a weird run at him. Let's, I, I love the halfback counter out of week if the blocking's there. They're going man. I'm going to hurry up to the line before they... We'll see if we can try to go to the right. Blocking's got to be crucial here. Nope, not even close. That's two times I've ran that this year, and it's been abysmal both times. So, food for thought. Let's go. All right, that's the end of the quarter. I'm going to attempt halfback out. They'll probably go. They're going zone. So, this ain't going to go very far. This is a better man beater than a zone beater. At least off the right hash it is. Off the left, it's a little bit better. Got some yardage, not a whole lot. Uh, let's just go back to corner strike. We're going zone. We converted the last time on this. This will go to Bailey or Gilmore. We'll just let this clock roll a little bit. It went cover two, I think. I mean, but there was a big enough hole in the middle to give it the Gilmore, so that worked out great. Um, I want to do a PE re. We're going to do it off this side. We're going zone, nickel, so I'll probably go to Clinchman or Bailey here, depending on the pressure. If they go cover two, it may try to go to Clinchman. R1 and circle. Oh, what a throw. What a catch. Great throw. Man. 
All right, so what haven't I called much? Uh, let's go. I haven't called this play in a long time. It's uh, deep comebacks. We're going zone. I probably... Radonovich still doesn't have really the speed to get this over to post in terms of me not getting pressured, having enough time to give it to him. So I may just play this safe and just give this to Taylor. As such, just play it safe and bounce it underneath. Picked up almost 10 yards there. Now, I'm going to stay here, and we're going to go back to that fullback seam. We're going zone. I was hoping they was going to go man. I could have went to Gilmore. But we're going to go to Radonovich. The clock has stopped, so we'll just snap the ball. Good throw. I was fixed to get sacked, so I had to throw that just a little bit quicker than I needed to, or than I wanted to. Now let's do another screen. We're going zone. We'll let that clock run a little. 12 of 16, 152 yards. Not too bad if I say so myself. We'll bounce this to Clinchman. Hopefully he can pick up some good yardage here. There we go. All righty. So far, so good. If we could just keep them out of the end zone, I think we'll be doing okay. Nothing really worked up until on defense. Nothing really worked on that last drive until they had a, they were losing room or didn't have enough room to work with to try to score. Just whatever it takes to get the third down. And I threw everything at him. I went cover two, three, and four on the zone. I didn't go cover three on the zone. I went one high man. They was able to move it pretty well until the very end. That's a good stop. Going, hmm, let's just do a one high. Hey, crap, I goofed this up. That was my fault. I was flipping around my defensive alignment. That did not work. I was controlling the wrong guy. Let's go here. Maybe we can get to the quarterback. Don't have to. We could get to the running back. So that was a good stop. Now they're going. Let's do prevent or quarters at a dime. Since they're going five wide. Oh, go, go. Woo. <laughs> Sitting there waiting on it. Oh. I love it. So much fun. We can go back and look what I've done here. As usual, with quarters coverage, I like to, to control the strong side or the grass side zone defender on the short, on the short field. Not the short field, but on this, uh, the under, close to the line, which is right here. And he ran a hitch. So I got in front of it. Poop. Took it off to the house. Huge play. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Everything's going swimmingly. Now we got to get back on defense to try to do that again. Just imagine what's going to happen when I have some real talent. Like some players like in the 90s. Now here's the thing. I, I hope... I'm not setting myself up for failure, but I can't imagine having a, a better season next year. It's just going, I mean, I'm going to try. Crap, he's gone. Somebody stop him. Wow, look at that. Wow. Well, that was easy. How in the world did he get that touchdown? That was terrible. So now let's go on offense. We just switched two scores here. 
There's two minutes and 17 seconds. I'd like to burn one of it. Score a touchdown and go to half. Up 18. If we can help it. Or Gilmore can take this to the house. Nope. Still a good play, though. Okay, let's go. I'm trying to think of what I have to call in a while. Uh, okay, we need to play it real smart here and just let Washington and Gilmore handle a lot of this. Whatever it takes to get a touchdown before half. So they're going man. This will go to Gilmore. Terrible throw. Come on, McFarlane. Oh, that was bad. Let's do a halfback direct. Maybe we can run some clock and still get some yardage out of this. He's going that way, so we're going to run to the left. Hopefully my left tackle can hang on there. Oh, big play. All right. Good play by Washington. Uh, let's do halfback circle. We're going man 4-3. We're going to let the clock run a tad. Nah, I better go ahead and do this. Oh, safety coming up. Crap. Intercepted. <laughs> oh, no, McFarland's hurt. His elbow. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's let Washington handle this. They're going man, 4-3. We'll just run a half-pack direct. Our clock is running, but I'm going to wait. I don't know. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Please, McFarland, don't be seriously hurt. They're going man. I don't know if Gregory can make this throw. We'll do that. Gregory, on first down. He's looking. He's going Make a play. Make a play. <laughs> Gregory with a six. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Hey, on the world. They went both safeties came up, so I just went over the top. Wow. Oh, my gosh. What a game. Was not expecting that. Craziness all around. But we've got to hope McFarlane isn't seriously hurt. I'm not going to burn that other kid's red shirt. That makes no sense. Not with one game left. It's not worth it. Hopefully we don't have to worry about that. So if McFarlane is seriously hurt, Gregor's going to finish out the season. Uh, four. Uh, let's do a two high man. Let's do that. They may run it here. I don't know. I think I have plenty of time to do something. Wow. That's it. He caught that. I thought he did. He got a foot in. Let's do quarters out of nickel. Whoo, McFarland's coming back. That is good. Rolling out to the right side. Oh, my. oh, what a hit! Killian, it's a beast. All right, third and one. Uh, let's just keep it simple. Go one high. Wouldn't be something if we could get a stop here. Oh, that was a good try. Okay, let's go back. Let's just do quarters out of dime. And they're going to call a timeout. So let's go. We, we want to go defensive line. There. Hopefully that little boost can get somebody to put some pressure on that quarterback. Somebody got a hand on that one. Second and ten. Someone that. Uh... I'm going to stick with quarters, but we're going to go nickel this time. Let's see what they're doing here. They said they was going three wide, and they're going two tight end, so. Come 
Gonna have to call a timeout. Nope, they're gonna probably gonna go for it. Yep, they're gonna go no huddle. I'm afraid they're gonna do something goofy here. Nope, nope. Make a play. Ah, great defense. Fourth and three. Wow. They're gonna punt it. Oh my goodness. We have an 18 point lead heading into half. Who would have thunk it? They should have called another timeout and just ran something. Simpler. Just don't do anything crazy, thick pin. Okay. Uh, let's do something really simple. I'm going to go back. Uh, let's go here. You haven't seen me. It's the linebacker attack. It's basically fullback seam out of wide trips. They're going zone. They keep running zone on my corner route. So we'll just go to the tight end here. And got out of bounds and lost the yard. <laughs> It's not what we wanted. Um, I'm just going to take a knee. Surely they won't call a timeout on me. Second and 11. Ball the if they were smart, they would just let the clock ride out. The down by the and they're going to call a timeout, of course. They're going to try to make something of this. So we're going to go to corner strike, and we're going to try to convert three for three on third down with the exact same play. We've already went four for four. That's what you get. I'm calling a timeout. I'm going to try to score on you. That's what you get. Oh, where's that? Right here. Half back out. We're going zone here, so this will either go to Washington or Bailey, depending on the coverage. They're going cover two. Terrible throw. Oh, I don't think he got in. Second and ten. Um, let's do half or smash. We're going zone. I don't know why I'm going after their strong safety. I should flip this. Cover two, ramp. I'm going to have to bounce this out. We'll call a timeout. We'll do a Hail Mary. We're going to do the middle one because that gets both Washington and Gilmore on the same side. Looks like we may have two chances on this one since it's third and seven. Seven seconds. That should be enough time for me to try it again. Oh, that's what you want. Your two best players on the same side. Well, that free safety jumped up as high as it possibly could. This, the swat it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a dream season we're having! All these upsets. I, I just, my goodness. I, like I said earlier, I just. I can't imagine having these many upsets next season. I mean, we're losing Washington and Gerald Moore, our best, two best players. But hopefully I can upgrade my roster overall in the offseason, so maybe that'll offset itself. I got to remember that Gilmore's just like 84 overall, and he's having such a stellar season. Washington's like 82. So, I mean, they're thoroughbreds, but they're still just in the low 80s. Okay, so we got to look at the stats here. That was just a crazy first half. 300 yards of offense. Just incredible. 18, 252 yards for McFarland. Three touchdowns, no picks. Rushing, don't have to do much there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guys have got to touch the ball already. And, of course, Gilmore and Washington is one and two. With Clinchman, is usually third, and my tight end is usually number four. So that's just, it's the ideal air raid stat sheet, more or less. Incredible. And my defense is playing great. Only giving up three points because the special teams only gave up that one touchdown. Gosh, what a blowout. Now, anything can happen. They can easily come back and make something of this, but we're going to try to prevent that. 
Uh, let's just do one high. I tell you, my, my cover one defense all year has been pretty good. It's really good against a strong running back, just keeping eight guys in the box. Picks up six yards there. Four wide. Let's do quarters out of dime. They line up in the shotgun. Going gun spread. Wow, what a throw. And I had a defender in between him, the ball and the receiver. All right, let's go crash gold to cover one. Let's see who's defending who. Yeah, I like that alignment. Purdue in a five wide set. Drop back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throw short. I think he got out of bounds. He let his wide receiver too far. Yep, second and ten. Yeah, now they're going with three wide. We're going to throw that monster two at him. Make him throw quick and perhaps lead to a third and long. Single set back to you. Back to pass. Great defense. It's what we wanted, so it's third and long. And from here, ah, we got to go dime. Let's just do cover two man, and I'm going to control one of the defensive linemen and see if I can get to the quarterback, make him throw quick. Oops. That may be a flag. <laughs> nope, that's just good pickup. Good play. Good throw. Good man beater. So maybe next time we'll go with maybe Cloud, see how he handles it on third down. Purdue comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Purdue goes with the ace. I didn't mean to do that. Got to go back it up. Gets the ball. Don't they fake it. Throw. Complete. Good open field tackle. Picked up a few yards. A couple yards. Let's go back to a one high. It's second down and eight to go. This is a seventh play Again, I'm just giving the quarterback as many different looks as possible. The Boilermaker. Line up with two tight ends. Nice play, Bing. Look. I was right there. All right, it's third and eight. So now let's do Cloud. Let's see how he handles it. I'm going to control that a defensive lineman again. Maybe I can make him throw quick. Got a true freshman defensive end. Wow, wide open. Wow. That safety took a terrible angle. I think that was Lumpkin. Just, yeah, he just took a terrible angle there. So stuff like that is what recruiting should help me with. I need to get a really good, strong safety to take Lumpkin's spot. Lumpkin's played great for me all year despite his limitations. But having a strong, strong safety that can do, that can make a play like that can prevent a touchdown like that. That was just, that was a good throw, though. Problem is, we couldn't get to the quarterback quick enough, and he had all day to throw. So now we just have an 18-point lead. So this game isn't nowhere near over yet. Not much there. Uh, there we go. Let's do the zig outs again. We're going 4-3. One high at least, so Bailey or Gilmore. Good throw. Didn't get a whole lot of yards out of that. Let's go. Haven't called this today yet. Let's do tight end corner. We're going to man. I'm going to try to give this a clinchment depending on the linebackers. If they're clogging up the middle, then I'm going to have to give it to Gilmore. If it's two safeties coming up, I'll give it to Radonovich. Come on, Radonovich. Good throw, good catch. Cover zero. All safeties coming up. Okay, now let's go. Let's do halfback out again. They're going zone, so this will go to Washington, but we're going to run some clock. No reason not to. 
And we'll just bounce this to Washington and let him pick up some yards. Hopefully he can stay in bounds so we can continue to run clock. Almost got the first down, but I stepped out of bounds. Second and one. I can go. I feel like there's some plays I haven't called in forever. Let's do deep attack. I think I can get a first down out of this. I just need one yard so I can play it safe and just bounce this to Washington. This is essentially halfback out by the spread version. If you kind of look at the routes and see what Washington's doing, he's kind of doing the same thing. Just bounce it to him. Just pick up the first down. Now let's go here, here. Let's see, what haven't I called in a while? I don't want to do that PA read from there. Let's just do RB deep. Let's go man. Uh, doing that, so this will go to Gilmore or Taylor. I'll shift him over, just give him an extra boost. Both safety coming up. Dang it, off the back foot. That ain't good. Yeah. I was fixing to get sacked. Second and ten. All right, let's just do something safe here. Let's let Gilmore or Washington handle this. We'll go back to half back out. Oh, what? I haven't ran much smash today. I need to run some smash. The Hoosier set up in the gun. McFarland back to throw. Short toss. And it's good. There we go. Pick up five yards. So what we can do is go here. Uh, this is two down territory for me, so I, I'm not too worried if I don't convert. They're going man, so this is go to Washington or, well, it depends on what those safeties do. I may try to go to Gilmore. Maybe Bailey can get good separation, or I can give it to Clinchman. Going one high. There we go. He got great separation from his defender, so that was an obvious choice. It's a good play there. We'll stay here and we'll go. PA read, PA inside is a great play. Ooh, I could call that. I don't need to, though. I don't need to do play action. Uh, where's that? Let's do PA read. I have it on my mind, so I'm going to call it. We're going zone dime. I could just run it. Shifting that way. I may, I may just do that. And just see how he handles it. All depends on what that corner is going to do. Pick up five yards, six or six yards. Now let's do curls. They're going man dime. So let's, I'm going to try to give this to Washington. I'm going to hot rat Rodonovich just in case. I'm, I'm going to give this to Washington. It's, nope, I can't do it. Thank it. I think I didn't. Did I get a sack? Was that a, that's third and six. I couldn't tell. Halfback out. I was afraid to go one of those curls. I probably should have threw it away. So they're going zone here. We'll give this to Washington. I'm going to let the clock run out. No reason not to. We may get a man defense put on us. We can maybe give it to Gilmore. So. All right, fourth quarter, we're up 18. We just got to make good, smart decisions. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score, Indiana. We're going half back out, and they're going to go man on me. So we're going to try to give this to Gilmore. Now, he's only caught this, like, once today. Indiana comes out of the shotgun. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Oh, perfect throw. Great play. Great separation, all that stuff. Good deal. Okay. Um. Uh, one thing I haven't called in forever, it just now hit me. I'm going to try it. I, we got plenty of room to do this. Halfback screen. It just it just occurred to me. So I'm going to run it. They're going man, so this may not go well. Or we can get a touchdown. Good deal. They were sending everybody. So I had a chance, even though it was against man. I was afraid to go over the middle. We'll break this play down. My man beater is my crossing route, which is Gilmore. 
So you could see he was wide open. I could have gave it to him. But if you go back, they were just blitzing everybody. Both, look at that, yeah. So thankfully I had great blocking on that one guy, enough to get the touchdown. Okay, I think that's enough room for me to maybe get this win. Surely they will come back, you know, with that huge of a lead. What's that, 25-point lead? So, we'll just keep doing everything like normal. But that's why you run clock against teams that are just better than you. Keep the off their offense off the field. Something Butch Jones couldn't figure out. I'm sorry for the rant. <laughs> that's what reminded me of that. Okay, they're going four wide. Let's do a one high. I'm going to do the middle linebacker version. Where's that? Dog gold. First and ten. Ball on the 17 yard line. Let's see. The Boilermaker. Line up with four wide out. Drop back. Steps up. Look. He's going right. Someone got a hit. Great defense. That pass falls incomplete. Got just a finger on it. Great defense right there, Brad. Hmm. That's something the coaches. Now let's do a quarters. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. They line up in the shotgun. Let's see how they handle this. I'm gonna shift them that that way just in case they try to go. Play action. Going deep on the left side. Watch this. Ooh. Okay, good defense. Got another hand on it. So we've really done a good job stopping their deep ball. Uh, mm. Let's try Cloud again. It's third down and ten. We got to get to the quarterback 17. quick, though. Nickel defense. Ooh, almost intercepted. Okay, so I'm now feeling pretty confident that the game is over. We're going to have to really turn the ball over several times in order for them to come back. So, again, uh, is this the biggest win of the season, or is it Michigan or Michigan State? I, I don't know. It's just, just what a glory year. I just, no words can describe it. All right, Thick Pin, work your magic. Work your magic, Thick Pin! Win that award! Win that award, son! Ugh. We're gonna blow you out of the water! You are our arch rival, and I'm gonna try to beat you by 50 every time I can. No mercy. I'm keeping my first string in here. We're gonna put a beat down on the Boilermakers. I'm just beside myself. I tell you, this second half of the season's been incredible. I've never had these many upsets in a dynasty, in one season in a dynasty that I could recall. I'm trying to think. I'd, when you're at least a full letter grade or two below everybody else and able to put off, what, three or four or five upsets, it's just incredible. That's why you play this game for stuff like that. All right, let's go after the quarterback. And that's a flag. Nope, they're not going to call it. I thought I hit him way too late. Four wide. Uh, let's do quarters. Maybe I can pick this one off. I can't see what's happening. I was off the screen, so I couldn't really tell where he was at. Uh, four, let's do a one high. For him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine and oh, I'm okay with that alignment. And the impact receiver is in the zone right now. Find his receiver. It's a good open field tackle. He had a lot of room to work with. If he would have broke that. I'm going to do another one high. We'll do it at a nickel this time. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 44. The Boilermaker. Now I got Skelton as my. This ain't good. Oh, good stop. All right. I got a lot of guys that are taking a breather right now. Let's do a one high. We'll do the other version. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They signal to the secondary. They got closer with their second run. Across the middle. 
Oh, and he dropped it. Wow, their wide receiver, their best guy is having the worst game of his life. Has he even caught a pass today? He's dropped two that I can recall. Number two is back to return. He's the same guy that already ran one all the way back. Number we'll have to fair catch that one. The dude was going to mess me up there if I wasn't careful. Let's call. We haven't called anything from Pro Twins today. Let's call our favorite play from that. Let's do slot corner. We're going zone, so this will go to Washington or Gilmore. The Hoosiers come out with split back. They'll throw on first down. He passes it, and it's caught. Pick up the first. A good pick up that time. Maybe. One of the things that can really Second and one. Yeah, come on. Uh, no, I don't want to do passes. that. Let's go. Right. That and the ability to run the ball consistently. The last time I called this play, let's just do a simple. Let's just do a basic shallow route. Surely Bailey can make this play. I'm going to do a basic go route with Gilmore, though. I don't like that double step. It's very slow. Ball safety's coming up. Make a play, Gilmore! Ah! That's what you get. 206 yards receiving. Win the wide receiver award, son. You've earned it. Okay. I'm on the left hash. I want to run smash, but we're going to run it off the left hash. We're going to go man, so this is going to go Gilmore or Washington, but more than likely Bailey. One high. Bailey's got some I think they went one high. I, I, yeah, I guess they could have went to Gilmore on that one. I've been the ideal cover one beater. Uh, let's do wide receiver under. I haven't called that today. Second and six coming up here. Ball now I have no desire to run clog. Let's just beat him to a pulp if we can. So they're going zone. Gilmore over the middle or Washington. Nope, the middle is clogged up. Yeah, that's just good coverage. But he picked up a few yards. Third and five. Let's give this to Gilmore or Washington, and we'll go fullback seam off the left hash. They're going zone, so this will go to Washington. And what I can do, what you can do, if you don't think you have enough time to give it to your halfback going to the flat, you could just motion him over. It doesn't take him as long to get over there. I don't think he got the first. Oh, he got the first. Good deal. Now I'm on the 22. I'm on the left hash. I'm going to go to that PAY or uh, PA inside. Do you hear that? Okay, they're going zone. This could go to Clinchman or Bailey, more or less. They're going cover two. What a play! Ah! McFarland is having the game of his life. So I'm on the one yard line. Let's go. Screen. They're going zone. Let's hurry up. Let's bounce this over there. Maybe we can pick up the touchdown. Oh, I didn't get in. So we'll try the other screen. They're going man, so I'm going to have to hurry this one up before everybody and their brother shifts over there. Turner. Unreal. 55 points. Double nickel on the number eight team in the country. An absolute slaughter. The state of Indiana has found a new program to call home, and that is the Indiana Hoosiers. Not Notre Dame, not Purdue, Indiana. But I need to beat Notre Dame in order to really solidify that. So I may put Notre Dame on the schedule next year. That'd be a good non-conference game. That'd be fun to go to up to South Bend to take them on. If I don't forget to do that. That'd be a good rivalry. I don't even know how good Notre Dame's done this year. So have they benched their starters? Yes, they finally benched them. Unbelievable. It's just the perfect game. I mean, nothing has went wrong today. 
Sick. Fumble, somebody pick it up. I'm going to let that clock run. I think I've showed them who's their daddy. Let's just do a one high. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed playing it. What a great game this has been. We're going to get that big commitment of other linebacker, go five for five in the rec or in season recruiting. What well, more can you say? It's just been a dream season. What a turnaround. I think they won two games last year. I took them over. We're going to win at least eight. Eight and three. Beat the Boilermakers. And we get to add a trophy to our trophy case. The old Oaken Bucket. Awesome. What a game. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, to be honest. I just wasn't expecting this type of success. But the air raid is kicking in high gear. My defense played amazing today. Let's check out the stats. 470 yards of offense. Not bad. Individual stats. 34-41. 414 yards. Five touchdowns and a goose egg for interceptions. Rushing, uh, receiving, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all the main seven have caught the ball. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Five different guys got touchdowns today in one way or another. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay. Time to breathe a little bit. Now stick around for the end of the video. We'll see if we got that commitment or not from that linebacker or Logan. I'm sure we will. If you don't commit after a win like this, a monumental win, a program changing win, then I can't help you. But look at that. Ohio State, after that loss, man, we have just went on a roll. What a month. Last four games have just been magical. So now that means it just now hit me. We're going to go to the Capital One Bowl. Who would have thunk it? Indiana Hoosiers going to Florida. Take. I hope we play Tennessee. Wouldn't that be great? I'd love to take on the Vols. That really helps. McFarlane, Gilmore, Thigpen had a great. And he didn't come in. I'll be. We'll check the recruiting real quick. Soft verbal. Look at that. It's me and Ohio State, basically. So it's 100%. We still got one week left to go. Another week. Uh, so just hang around for the video. Let's just do it again. We'll simulate this week. So hold on for a little bit. Maybe he'll commit here. And since I don't have a conference championship game, just stick around. I'm going to uh, simulate week 15. That way we'll find out which bowl we go to. So you'll get to see that as soon as I do. I don't want you to miss that. And you may see the Heisman stuff. All this. So please, just stick around. I kind of wasn't expecting this. I was hoping to get that commitment. Then we can start next video with the awards and all that good stuff. But we can go ahead and do that now. You know what? i tell you what. After this week, if I don't get a commitment from that kid, it's going to be the next week. Okay? Oh, we got the commitment. Cole Logan. Five for five in recruiting. Incredible. Okay, so what this means is the start of next video, I'm going to simulate the, the bye week. Week 15, it'll take 10 seconds because there's nobody really plays that week. And then we'll get to our bowl game. So we're ranked 20th in the country. We're rolling. Arguably the number two team in the Big Ten behind Ohio State. This is just the beginning for the Hoosiers. Great things on the horizon. That's happening in Bloomington. So stick around. Come on back. We'll take on whoever we're going to pay. More than likely in the uh, whatever the Outback Bowl or whichever Florida Bowl we're going to go to. We're going to go to a good one. So it should be a lot of fun. So come on back, and I'll talk to you later.